And welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Terada, Diaries of a Sushi Chef. Hiro-san. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good it's coming automatically now, your response. Very, very good. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on today here in the kitchen? Today also uh, sushi, sushi recipe. Uh, steak roll, that's what we call kaiocho roll. Kaiocho, what does kaiocho mean? Kaiocho is actually from Miami, the Little Havana, 8th Street. Right. So we kind of a little Cuban uh, uh, flavor. Right. This is one of our more popular rolls too. I mean, if you don't like raw fish, this would be the exact roll for you. I mean, who doesn't like what they would find in, like, say, in a Cuban restaurant? So I'll show our viewers the ingredients. The main thing is, of course, the scato steak here. Okay. And also uh, plantain here. You can find these in your local grocery store. In the frozen apartment, and then the black bean. Okay, and then sauce, uh, chimichurri sauce. Chimichurri, yes. homemade chimichurri, wonderful. Uh, because I'm gonna use avocado. Okay, inside of the roll. Sounds great. And again, this is another redo. We did this before many, many mm -hmm. years ago. I guess it is now, but it was just during under dinner service. Yes. So I kind of threw it together and weren't able to offer you the exact directions how to make this, but. Okay, what is the first step? First step, uh, scato steak. Okay. I'm gonna put the salt. On the both sides. And scurry steak is what you would normally find in like a fajita dish, but it's so, so good. Okay, and then, and then I love normal too. Okay. There you go. Okay, well that steak is grilling here. Okay, so while the steak is cooking, I'm gonna do next step. I'm gonna slice up the plantain okay. before frying. Actually, we're gonna do fry up the plantain, but before we're gonna slice up the few pieces. I just cut into that a little bit thinner. Right, one, two, three. Yeah, this is fine. One, two, three. Okay, so okay. those of you who've never seen this, this is what you would find in, say, South America a lot in their normal dishes, mm. plantains, in Spanish is plantano. And when they're this type, we call them plantano maduro. Maduro. Right. Maduro is being uh, like. Right. You know, they also serve this like uh, green, or in strips, they fry them almost like a chip. Aha. Uh -huh. But these are so good. So, so good when you fry them up. Actually, last segment uh, from the Cuba event, we was made in from the scratch. Oh, that's right. That, uh, that yeah, yeah. Plant, you know, the yeah, they don't have them frozen, ready to go. Right, right. <laughs> so, and even the black bean too. Yeah. It was from the, the black uh, beans. You had to cook them. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And the next step here. Next step, actually, we're gonna do fried up. Okay. Straight to into the fryer. Yeah? Change the background. That's what we are looking for. Okay. So. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the steak is ready. And you mentioned something here that one of our commentators, our viewers, had mentioned something about steak. Actually, it makes a lot of sense, and that's what we know as well. Once the steak is done cooking, you should let it rest for about 10 minutes or so, mm -hmm. so the juices don't stay in the center and they flow out of the steak. They can go back to the edges. Mm -hmm. So that's a great comment, so I appreciate that very much. Okay. I'm keep this one here. Okay. You know, I'll wait for the plantains. Should be coming up soon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is almost ready. These guys are still not ready. That is ready. Good. Okay, 
next pass, we're gonna do a cut to cut to beef. Cutting like this. Okay. And the next step is actually for the steak. I really like to eat all straight like this, with the juicy. But for the roll, we need to take out a little bit of juice. So I'm going to set up the pepper towel. And then taking out a little bit of juice. Because of that, when you roll it up, when you squeeze it, all juice come, all coming out. So all the sushi rice got to be juicy, <laughs> too juicy, you know. So that's the reason we need to take it out a little bit, juice out. Of course, for the steak, for the straight to eat, more juicy, juicy steak is good, but for low, we need to take it out a little bit, juice out. Okay, next step, rolling up. Okay, take the water on your hand, and uh, take the rice, and then spread on the seaweed. Pull it down on this side, pull it down, and then make it even D. Like that. Okay. And then if you like sesame seed, you put the sesame seed, and then flip. Okay. And the next step. I'm gonna put some first avocado. A butter knife. Avocado in the middle. And the next one, the black beans. Black bean. And right next to the avocado. Oh, also, in the, uh, one point, another one point is uh, if you buy the from market and you know, black beans have a lot of juice, also black bean uh, better take out a little bit of juice out. It's more better when you roll it up. Okay, next step, the meats in the middle. Good. And next one, loading up. One, two, and three. And then make it shape it up. Okay, and the next one. Set up the Try the plantain on the road. Another makisu to make it squeeze it and tie it up, make it shape. It's good. And then next one is the cutting parts. I'm gonna cut into 10 pieces. First, cut in the middle. In the side. This one side, okay. Try to fight this on the other side. The film out. Set up 
はい。Look inside the real quick hero. Sure. Look. Yeah, wow, look at that. That look amazing or what? Unbelievable. Okay? okay. Again, this is one of our most popular roles. Yes. The Kai Ocho. Okay, that's it. And incidentally, Kai Ocho, every single year they have a big human festival there. A huge black party. Yeah, of course. And a similar chasos. Chimichurisos. Mm, okay. That's really, really good too. Hero, wow, this is so good. I can't wait to stick my teeth in it. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much. How do you say Kaiocho in Japanese? Kaiocho. Kaiocho. Hachiban Storito. Ah, Storito Janaina. Hachiban Dori. Hachiban Dori. Hachiban Dori. Hachiban Dori. Hachi is mean eight. Hachi is mean like us. Th uh, eight. And then street. Doro for Michi. So Dori. So Hachiban Dori. Hachiban Dori. Easy. Easy enough. Thank you so much for the Hachiban Dori. Hello. Arigato. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, comment and share this video for us. We would love and appreciate that. See you all very soon. Bye bye. Here we are, our tasting bar for this Hachiban Dori. Hachiban Dori. Hachiban Dori or Hachiban Gai. Hachiban Gai. Hachiban Gai. Sometimes we do Hachiban Gai. Hachiban Gai. Very good. All right, Hiro san. Okay. Let's go for it. I'm going to taste it inside. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sauce, chimichi sauce. Oh, nice. Instead of a soy sauce. And this is no longer a Japanese roll, this is like a fusion. Very Cuban. Mmm. How's the taste? <laughs> Let me get a piece here. I don't want to talk about the mouthful, but that was a big bite. I love it. I love the steak and the black beans. It feels like a very Cuban dish. Mm. And then the plantains to finish it off, they're a little crunchy on the edges. It's almost like a dessert tasting food if you ever had these fried plantains or sweet. Nothing like bananas at all. But um, they are so good. The whole roll is amazing. Of course, all that beef inside there. Wow, you guys got to get down here and have one of these. Enjoy it. Well, Hiro, thank you so much. Mm, thank Arigato. you very much. Hachiban Gai. Hachiban Gai. Hachiban Gai. Hachi is mean one. Hachi okay. is mean eight. Okay, Hachi. Maybe Hachi eight is a uh, lucky number. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hachiban. Okay? Okay. Thank you.